Hey, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by a whole lot of guys. We got Ben Hansen. Hello, thanks for having me. Hi, thanks for being here. We've got Jeff Marchiafava. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, thanks for being here. And we've got Leo Vayner. The fourth and final guy. Thanks for being here. So we're looking at Days Gone. Yeah, this is a uh, Game Informer's new cover story, and this is a whole mission in the game. Technically, picking up basically where we left off, if you watch the first hour of gameplay, which mm -hmm. you can also find at GameInformer.com slash Days Gone, yep. uh, this is basically where it leaves off, or yeah, we're going on a mission. Who's are you there? Yeah, Dick. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, how's the arm? Uh, like I said, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm still going to head out to that narrow checkpoint, find some sterile bandages ointment or something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out and make sure the mountain's clear. Who's your... No! No, those are third-degree burns. You stay there, you rest. I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess... Um... I guess, uh... You know, I could... I could use something for the pain. All right, yeah, so I this guess, mission... Guess, oh, I'll Deacon St. John. Come on. Seriously, Jabber Jazz here, buddy. This is it, the Nero checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for boozers, huh? St. John, this is Cope. When you get to the tower, I'll radio up there. Hey. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's not about sums it up. Cork, were you playing? Yes. So this is play. footage of me playing the game. I mean, you were saying something? St. John, this is Cope. Shit, when you get to the so tower, tight. my radio uplink has been shut down. down. I'll pay you to restore it. Do characters ever quit yapping in this game? Uh, no, no, no. There we go. Jeff Cork, what is a Nero checkpoint? <laughs> Nero checkpoint. These are basically, there's a, a government agency, Nero National Emergency Response Organization, and they're basically FEMA, as we've said time and time again. Uh, and when Like this... I was saying, some thinking to do. So these men, you know them, because shutting down Radio Free Oregon seems kind of personal. God damn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. All right, now, Deacon, I think it's safe for us to talk now. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, these checkpoints were set up to kind of diagnose the infected people kind of perform triage figure out who could be saved and then uh, who they just needed to quarantine uh, so what I'm doing here is this is also a place where I can find some medical supplies to help my friend Boomer who as you saw in the first gameplay hour uh, is critically injured by the Rippers yeah and so clearly you're in a hurry which is why you're scavenging Pop. crap absolutely these cars. always <laughs> need crap Boomers over the radio. Deacon, I, I'm in a lot of pain here, buddy. <laughs> Not digging through another cop car. So right I now. gave him a warning swing, <laughs> yep. which is a good move. <laughs> also, as you can see on the screen, it says alpha gameplay, important to stress. This game isn't coming out till early 2019, so yeah. it might be a little rough around the edges, but it's still unbelievably generous that Sony Ben let us show this much of the game to give people a better idea of how it actually plays. Absolutely. Yeah. So now I'm just hanging out with a stool leg. I figure that's... <laughs> Good craftsmanship on that. I you could imagine you could probably pretend it's one of those ornate pepper shakers from a fancy restaurant, <laughs> right? If, you, if that helps you. So in the apocalypse, it's cockroaches, Twinkies, uh -huh. and stool legs. Stool legs managed to survive. The tops of the tables gone. <laughs> have you talked about how the melee works? Are you? Or do those have different stats? Different uh, melee weapons you pick up? Oh, okay. I thought you meant like different stats of swinging. Uh, no, uh, there are different like categories of weapons so like the stool leg as you can imagine is not nearly as effective as like a machete or a hatchet here sure. so here are you if you've been reading along uh i've tried to get inside this trailer unfortunately it's locked with electronic locks which requires this generator here to get powered on but right and something kind of interesting they talked about it in the first hour of gameplay that that we posted earlier but it's interesting that this is just two years is that right after the world goes to hell that's correct. And so a lot of the machinery is still functioning. It's a kind of mm -hmm. a cool space. I think we're all just kind of used to The Last of Us, where it's like, oh, Ellie doesn't even know about the old world. Right. But just to have this idea of, like, it wasn't that long ago. Like, all the car batteries mm -hmm. are still fully charged. Things are relatively okay. Yeah. Other than the world being complete shit. Right. 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 
And at this point, I, I'm messing around with the weapon wheel here. Uh, I think I was talking to one of the team members about weapons. So, we so that generator oh, didn't work. The generator stop. needs to be refueled. Hmm. It's what? always one thing or another in video games, ain't it? So true. What we should talk about is a new gameplay today. If you're just tuning in for the Days Gone coverage, the whole framework for this show, this is a special case where we're showing a game from a cover story trip, which doesn't happen too often, but normally it's just whenever there's an embargo lifting on big games, we're going to show it off, damn it. You can't stop us. Stay tuned. Thank you. Stay tuned. So now I'm going into my survival vision, which highlights kind of things that you can interact with. I was hoping that it would uh, have a big flashing beacon for uh, fuel. But it didn't. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can. That's a, like an upgradable skill, though. That will let you. It'll highlight crafting materials, and then it can upgrade further to highlight enemies in the environment too. I think if you look at the horde video, that's been upgraded so that the infected glow as well. Good. But at the stage of the game, which is as you know, very early in, it's not been uh, upgraded. Yeah, the horde video will be coming up next week. Yes, uh, for people to, to check out there. All right, here's where I blew it big time. Uh oh. You'll see. So what if I had, if I'd been paying attention, you see those speaker icons on the top of this temporary shelter. I should have disabled those before restoring power because <laughs> now they're basically blaring, "Hey, soup's Shut on," the hell up. and uh, <laughs> and I'm the soup. Go <laughs> so, soup. So were those uh, marked before, and you just didn't notice them, or do you have to really I be careful? I believe the they would have been marked if I'd gone into my. Uh, Deacon St. John vision <laughs> mode. Detective yeah. mode? And yeah. this is also the first time I had hands on with the game, so I was still. Uh, quick, help, help, guys, help. You're showing how deadly the world there is. There you man. go. There's Just, no doubt about it. Hey, the world comes for you. So here, <laughs> as Sony says over and over again. <laughs> so now I'm like, maybe I can find a new temporary shelter in the weapon wheel. What if I live I, here now? What if I corner myself into this place with no reasonable escape? Yep. Mm -hmm. And see how it goes. Exactly. So these starting weapons, uh, you'll notice that when you pull up uh, like a tighter aim mode here, the reticles get smaller, as you see in a lot of games. These starting weapons uh, suck. I think I'm not using Boomer shotgun. I think at the beginning you have the choice of taking his shotgun or um, leaving it with Boomer, and I'm a gentleman and I left it with Boomer. So that left me without a really good shotgun. This one is clearly adequate, but you know, he looks really sad there. Oh, oh God. Nice work. Getting out of there. Yeah, but like the pistols in particular, I'm used to kind of being able to fake it until you make it with those things, and they're. they're Marginally better than melee, at least <laughs> at the beginning, when you're not, uh, you don't have the skills in game or in the game. Yeah. Or, or better, or better pistols. Right. Like that. It's that such a be. tough balance for Sony Ben too, because it's like, well, it's the post-apocalyptic world. We want crappy guns, mm -hmm. but how do you show crappy guns without just every player grabbing the controller for 20 seconds and saying, this weapon sucks. Yeah. Like, it's a tough thing to communicate. They're like, well, in some ways, they're kind of supposed to suck and finding this dividing line between what's intentional versus maybe the, game, like, the gunplay isn't hitting as hard as you'd expect mm -hmm. in a game. That's a tough line. But Absolutely. I was, like, initially, when I first started, I was like, Speakers, oh, this, advantages, this super sucks. Like, I do not like this condition. pistol at all. Yeah. Uh, and I learned that it's you need to be more methodical with it. It's not just like a, like, it's not the Halo pistol. Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How well. Uh, but, uh, is what is this? This is the neuro injector. So here you've got a little bit of uh, a choice here at the beginning. You can add uh, stamina or health to your meter or also increase your focus ability. So you're given a choice at these neuro checkpoints. These, uh, these devices are there. So I think I went with stamina. Because I, at this point, I'd been uh, rolling a lot, sprinting a lot, because I realized that I wasn't going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these uh, infected freakers. Just say freakers, Cork. Just get used to saying freakers. <laughs> I, I will never get used freakers. to this. Yeah. Better living through chemistry. In the cover story, did you call them freakers or infected? Um, I kind of bounced back and forth. Okay. All right. Bold yeah. choice. Thank you. Checkpoint looted. Yeah. The way they should do it is you inject it into your legs for stamina and your heart for health and your brain for focus. That's pretty there smart. Just go, go right one leg at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so he just runs in a circle. Yes. <laughs> Very effectively, though. Yeah. So you see that it, I have unlocked this area as a checkpoint. So now if I 
die, I have an option of spawning here. It will spawn you at the closest checkpoint. They still seem to be fairly spread out. Uh, at some point in this um, video, we'll pop open the map and you can kind of see it a little better. But Yeah. And also you have access to your weapons locker at all checkpoints. It's kind of a Resident Evil style weapons locker system. Time to get the hell out of here. And you still got that speaker going, Cork. Yeah. <laughs> then I drove away from it. <laughs> the only way to get rid of the Absolutely. speaker is to drive away from the speaker. Son of a bitch! I just really wanted to hit that tree. Which... Yeah, make sure the collision detection is working <laughs> yeah. correctly. Yeah, it's working. And that fence as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not a motorcyclist in real life, are you, Jeff Cork? Well, you'll also notice it's raining, so things maybe don't handle as well. That's true. That's it means true. it's working as intended. Yeah. You always looked back over your shoulder and gave a big thumbs up to the devs. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, I winked at them and they winked back. And said, yep. <laughs> and this is kind of your home base at the start of the game. At exactly. Least. Boozer, I uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer. Boozer. Hey. Oh, ah! oh, 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 oh shit! Oh, shit, Deke. You're blowing your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got it. Come on, this. let me see that arm. I got All it. All right. Just dig. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. So there, they said that if, depending on the choice you made. The first time you get to choose, like, to leave the shotgun with Boomer or not, that obviously will play out a little differently. I can't imagine it'll be significantly different because this is the only one I saw, but uh, he probably doesn't give you, like, a finger gun if he doesn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> he crafted a shotgun while you were away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then you lot take of, that one from him, too. Yeah. A lot of foreshadowing on Boomer there. You think he's making it through the game, Cork? Oh, boy. He's in rough shape now. Does he die and come back as a zombie that you have to kill? Ooh. We did ask if you recognize any freakers in the game. That's true. And, and they, they said, said no. They said no. There's they're not going to be the first zombie story to ever not have that happen, right? Uh, it's possible. They have been playing up his head tattoos, which, who knows? Pretty signature. <laughs> Pretty sig easy to recognize mm. guy. Maybe we, won't. <laughs> Maybe we won't recognize him because his personality is so different. Oh, I don't freaker, even know you. you know? You've changed yep. so much. Also, you're a freaker. Come on, Boomer. <laughs> Can I ask a very basic question about these freakers? Yes. Yes. They're they're headshot guys, right? You shoot them in the head. It does Actually, you're kind of not discouraged from shooting them in the head, but if you do shoot them in the head, uh, you won't be able to collect their ears, which are used as kind of an in-game currency to gain renown with different factions. Right. It's so, like shooting somebody in the purse. You wouldn't do it. Exactly. <laughs> so you can shoot them in the head and that will kill them, but also they're not like zombie rules apply. You can shoot them anywhere and uh, okay. that would ordinarily kill someone. That's really surprising. Do they die faster from headshots though? So it's like a trade-off? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. You seem a little bit confused about the concept of freaker good. ears as a currency, mm -hmm. Leo. I'm a little confused as to why you react <laughs> in such a way. Yeah. I just punched the gas can because... <laughs> yeah. Well, just take like their fingers or something. Yeah, I don't know. If I if I were starting a post apocalyptic society, yeah. I wouldn't be like, let's make a current. The only possible currency we could we could have that would make it harder to kill the guys that are. Well, trying if to kill you us. made them eat fingers, though, Leo, you could <laughs> get ten from every freaker that you killed and turn them in. See, How are they? Yeah, exactly. I know. And plus, uh, freak ears are a delicacy in this world as well. So it's kind of like a double thing. Like, you get to eat them after you pay your bills. Oh, nice. You understand. So you'll notice yeah. that it said horde discovered. I we don't see that horde in this video. Because uh, as soon as that popped up, I ran in the other direction because I did not want to fight a horde. Yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, while you were doing this, I was dicking around in the open world probably way mm -hmm. too much. Uh, and I also just stumbled across a horde in my playthrough. I was like, oh crap, I just have to get out of here as soon as I can. Yeah. That, that's a fun dynamic in the open world. It's like yeah. Having the PUBG meteors hit all of a sudden. Yeah. Know? Fans of reading UI probably notice it says clear the camp zero out of 11. And yes, that means there are 11 people in this camp. Once you kill 11 of them, the camp has been cleared. Mm. But I'm trying to sneak my way around this. This is my first attempt. I don't believe it goes well because I call it a first attempt. <laughs> <laughs> and here, kind of on the perimeter, there's some stuff you can loot. Uh, as you get different recipes, it's kind of interesting. Uh, you first start off, you can craft like bandages and a couple of like super basic things, Molotov cocktail. As you get 
more sophisticated recipes, then ingredients to make those things will surface in the world. So right now there's a bunch of junk that isn't being highlighted that you can't pick up because he doesn't know that he has a need for styrofoam, for instance, or like random bits of circuitry and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. And also you use the same uh, different items for different crafting things mm -hmm. and they're kind of at odds with each other. So if you yeah. get, you know, the rag, you can either use it for a Molotov, which mm -hmm. is helpful, or use it as a bandage to mm -hmm. heal yourself. Yep. And so you have to make those decisions as you go along. So here, you know, fairly standard open world stuff at this point where if you're in binocular vision, you can tag enemies so that they show up on the screen even when you're not uh, in that mode anymore. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. And the open world is Oregon. It's true. Yeah, which they say is a high desert, which is one of those weird geographical facts I was not aware of. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, a majority of Oregon. It's called considered a high desert, which is like the same uh style mm -hmm. as south america so they end up raising a lot of llamas in oregon because of that environment uh and so of course we asked if there are llamas in this game and they said save it for the sequel save it oh. for the sequel. so no llamas also days gone too confirmed okay. um but llamas <laughs> seems to be the crucial part what are you talking about? they were joking by the way working title llamas rising <laughs> They say incoming. How about you come into us? <laughs> I've laid out the perfect trap. I think I did the same thing when I played through this as well. You also let freedom ring? Mm -hmm. Yep. So this mission, you're clearing out the camp because these guys have taken over uh, that radio tower, which Copeland is using to broadcast Radio Free Oregon. So the purpose here is to clear out the camp and then uh, restore power That's back it. to that radio okay. station to make Copeland happy. And as you make camp leaders happier, you gain access to higher tiers of equipment. Like Copeland, for instance, has uh, like a mechanic. So he's kind of the place you go to for bike parts. There's another encampment you can go to and kind of uh, work to build a relationship there and you get better weapons and everything. So You like that Copeland guy, Cork? Ah, he seems fine. <laughs> I mean, basically, just a bunch of assholes left anyway, right? So, right. <laughs> one asshole is the same as the next asshole. Exactly. Maybe there's one camp that we haven't seen yet where everyone's just Every lovely. Everyone's really just super cool. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, just pick what you want. Be cool. The, We're all in this together. Awareness thing turns red, and they say, oh, hello, neighbor. <laughs> Someone needs a cupcake. Yeah. Freak or your cupcakes? Oh, like how we make dollar bill cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i get what three left and i think at this point i kind of move around you can build traps too which i don't think i ever did in this playthrough hmm. you're being very strategic with this but it is it is a tough game uh overall there's no easy mode uh -oh. they really want to make Whee! you think and yeah methodically and they, go through this stuff the uh camps are probably the most analogous to other you know open world activity kind of things yeah mm -hmm. but they did feel different because of how deadly the enemies were at least to me yeah you know even even something like horizon it feels much more like hey i can just charge in here and i'm gonna be okay because right because mm -hmm. you have so many abilities and weapons at your disposal and they all feel good whereas like Cork was saying, this pistol is not the easiest oh God. weapon, and you don't want to. <laughs> no, here, let's just take a quick Mac break. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't. They should make that button so big if they don't want you to push it. Look at the awesome. Deacon looking at a map, and then you just see like the sniper rifle laser on the other side. He's like, "What is that? Some sort of moving target? Legend? What is that?" <laughs> What do you guys make of the XP popping up when you shoot? That's been a, a point of controversy. It really has. I was surprised by the number of people that brought it up because we're used to it at this point. People don't like that? They don't. They don't. And oh. there is the option. The The dev team said there are a lot of debates about it, uh, and there is the option to turn it off yeah. in, the, in the final game. So I, I like it. You do? Yeah. And, and the debate, when it was first brought up, were like, I don't know about that XP thing. The developers... Uh, the creative director said yes, but when you're fighting the horde and you take out like a huge swath of them with an explosion mm -hmm. and you see that avalanche of XP popping up, like you can't help but have a good guttural reaction as a gamer of like, oh, that's satisfying. And, th and so that's the trade off, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. And there's also the practical effect of something like here where, you know, Cork shot that guy, but he's not dead yet. And you definitely, it like to me, it was really helpful to have that XP pop up and know, okay, I can stop shooting at this guy now because. Interesting. 
he's down. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely during the opening hour, if people watch that, um, it stands a little bit more when it's mm-hmm. more of like a cinematic presentation, Robert one freaker at a time, yada, yada, yada. And I, then it's like, well, that just really takes me out of the yeah. level of immersion here. But as you go deeper into the game, I'd imagine you're just so used to it at a certain point. I gave that guy every opportunity to run away, by the way. Warning shot after warning <laughs> shot. <laughs> you're very generous. Yep. Yeah, so finally, a non-headshot kill, which I think I earned. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the focus shot yeah. you just did, I assume? Yeah. In my mind, I said, let's dance, but no. It played out really well. And you have very little health left here, Cork. It's true. No healing items left. Yep. Yeah, that's a problem. That's okay. That's not a problem, as you'll see. Yeah. As you'll see, you're going to take a nap by these sandbags. Just yep. cover all your health. Cover yep. Again, four warning shots. Very proud of that. Is that Mount Bachelor back there, Jeff Cork? It could be. The Mount Bachelor? Oregon fans. Silence out there. (laughs) (laughs) You you won't be able to hear the video. (laughs) So that guy clearly is just not interested in what his friend is shooting at. Earbuds are in, probably. Yeah, exactly. Well, listening to the static that was Radio Free Oregon at one point. (laughs) This radio don't work no more. They do have a cool camp up here. I mean, it's no watchtower uh, where you and Boomer live, but it's cool. (laughs) Pretty self-satisfied. That's Music to my ears. Good. Great toss. Some who, sadist, apparently. Who <laughs> needs a radio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looting. I wonder yep. if anyone ever deceives each other in this world by taking a human ear and being like, it's freakerish. Yeah. yeah. Just leave it out no, in the I can sun see for a your minute. ear is gone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just wears a bloody you. stocking cap everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> One ear short and he comes back five minutes later. <laughs> no, it's only the left <laughs> ear. <laughs> it's true. See, they've thought through everything. It's true. So here I'm using scrap to repair this. I just happen to have enough. Yeah. Same stuff so you used to repair your everything. bike along the way. And some crafting, I think, as well. You can reinforce melee items. Drop it! You had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, now would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go. He is first and foremost a gentleman. Always Deacon style. <laughs> Jumping ahead a little uh-huh. bit. So this is inside one of the bunkers. The like enemy camps here, they usually have, I think they were saying, like plans to make something new, a recipe, and then also... Uh, a thing that you find that will give you uh, another checkpoint. Also, now you have a gnarly stool leg, which is nice. Yes. Uh, yeah. I got a recipe that caught me out to stick some spikes in it. <laughs> Wouldn't have figured that out otherwise. <laughs> How do they do it? I love this environment. It looks so cool. This is the type That's of place safe. I would love to live. So anyway, here's the bunker. So you can see... I think this is to illustrate that once I find a map in this area, it'll kind of reveal some of the uh, the fog of war. Also, a small detail on the map that I really mm-hmm. think is cool. Going by the day-night cycle in the game, you mm-hmm. saw it said 731 days gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, It starts out at zero, and then it'll count up throughout the course of the game. I don't think or no, it doesn't at start at zero. It's with the, the apocalypse. Right. So two years ago. So I can't do that math. But right. But I just love that it, it's, it changes throughout the course of the game yeah. with the day-night Frank, cycle. There? It's yeah. probably nothing. Sounded like bike engines, riding somewhere on the mountain. I had to hide. So you can see there, now if you want to fast travel between points, you're free to do so. If there's an a infestation, though, that's between them, the two points th- that shows up in red, you can't fast travel Finish between that until you couple. clear out that area. Climb the tower, see if I can okay. see anything. And there's your gun locker. And there's your desk. Mm-hmm. Just just hanging out. Just live down here with Boomer. In. Yeah. It's yeah. so much safer. There's probably more medicine that Boomer's going to need for that arm. They probably had supplies for 12 people. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Supplies. You could eat their corpses. Oh, yeah. Future wife potentially roaming around. Unclear. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of extra uh, attention from those two. 
<laughs> peeking in that lady. That's the subtlety of the writing, man. Yeah. Because that real meat cute. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is this? That's what Jeff Cork was saying to the developer. And what's that big tower up there? <laughs> oh, Should sir? I pressure the map button again? <laughs> no, no, no. For the love of God, no. <laughs> You're going to burn it into our TV, you idiot. <laughs> Okay, you don't sound like like yourself. It's not, it's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me, she was uh, out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. Fuck. Yes. Yes, I let her go. One of these days, Deke, that code of yours is gonna get you killed. Yeah. Well, something's gonna do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. <laughs> Think on that. <laughs> Deacon God, out. I wish I could say Deacon out whenever I wanted to. You can. Really? I, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I was gonna ask uh, if climbing was in this game at all. I saw a tree that looked like it might be climbable earlier, but is it just ladders? It he's seems just like, into or ladders. Like ledges? ladders and ledges. That's the what he's two. into. He yeah. takes the easy way out. Yeah, he's no, he's no Nathan Drake. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, what a climb! All right. Let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No. God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Ah, oh, shit. It's just... I'm going a little stir-crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. So do you think that there will be a mission to find a book for Boozer so he stops looking for trouble? Mm. Keep him occupied. Could be, but then it 100%. turns out that that book belonged to uh, oh, a horde of freakers, mm. and then they come take him out. <laughs> also, big debate. Mm -hmm. Let you slide down the ladder or not. Yep. Yeah. Apparently amongst the team, it was one of those big decisions of, I don't think it's a Deacon thing to do. Yeah. It's what players want to do, yeah. but does it break immersion? Almost there. Yeah. Keep going, almost there. That's it. I I do like Deacon's performance. Uh, Sam Whitward is the actor here, yeah. who has played Emperor Palpatine in every Star Wars thing known to man, apparently. Uh, but he has just a certain oh, breathy delivery for all of his lies, li lines that I kind of like. They're lies too. Yeah, None of well, this actually happened. <laughs> Look, he's better at talking than I am. <laughs> All, All right, right, jumping ahead. <laughs> no, that's how that happens. You just need to lose up on a motorcycle. Huh? <laughs> it's done. Radio tower is locked down, and I restored your radio uplink. Copy that. You may not see the value in St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. No, Cope. The only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There ain't no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong about that. Copeland out. Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? Yeah, there's not like a stay on the road kind of a system where, you know, the AI will take over if you want to do fine-tuned shooting or anything like that. You're constantly riding the bike. I'm, uh, to that camp nice. Nice. And that hurts your bike, of course. <laughs> if you look, I've got, what, 59 or 49% health on my bike. And this is, oh, uh, that's what that is. this is where I learned, um, yeah, this was a bad idea. Well, so I assume that's percent health and then scrap you can use to repair it? Exactly. Yes, you got it, man. Oh, actually, cool. yeah, I... At this point, I'm a, a little bit smarter. I'm parking farther away from the camps. I think the first time, which you may not have seen in here, I just drove right up to the the, uh, the mission starting point. At that point, you just may as well have just gotten on a loudspeaker and said, hey, you can send friends here. <laughs> well, also, what if a train yeah. comes, Cork? Are you sure that's a smart place to put your bike? Oh, gosh. True. Maybe someone will rescue it. Who knows? Hey, new menu for people. Yeah. Brief Collectibles. Collectibles. Journals. A little rage shout out. Yeah. Up there. <laughs> E3 leak. <laughs> I let you go. I love uh people are more into maps than you would think. Like there was like a glimpse of a map in I the love first video map. we put up and people like immediately mm -hmm. grabbed it, analyzed it and said, like, "Yeah, we should have realized that people are, would be super into that stuff." So that was oh, hello <laughs> buddy. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth 
she'll set you free. Who remembers the skid rows of this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Whose man? You were right. We set a blow. So here, yeah, this is a camp like with a lot of traps that have been laid around oh, yeah. here. I love hearing panicked enemies. Mm -hmm. Nothing better. <laughs> can you switch you the can, shoulder yes, here? You can. Cool. Like oh, that. How did you do that? The master. That button. <laughs> I, I don't remember. <laughs> I was trying to figure that out and oh. I failed. So then you can <laughs> just start on the traps. They set up oh. on the railroad tracks. And then you can place them yes. again if you want to. I think we saw that in one of the E3 demos the first time. Yeah. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, I like that too. There's some other traps coming up here, which... Look at this. I'm like a little ninja. Unconventional. Imagine, Cork, like when the apocalypse actually happens, mm -hmm. how quickly they're going to sell out of bear traps at stores. Oh, God, yeah. there's going to be a huge run on them. Yeah. They're going to have to have bear traps outside the stores to try and cool people down from rushing <laughs> in to buy more bear traps. Oh and ear God. removal oh. kits. <laughs> Come on. They're pretty cheap now at Walmart if you just want yeah. to go pick up some. Yeah. And here, I was hey, kind of surprised at how well hidden everyone is. You know, yeah. I guess everyone's loaded up on camo and everything, but... Don't have to be like this. No, sir. There's this reasoning. Is that because they know you're there? Or, or is that yeah. just waiting to ambush all the ways? Yeah, I think they know I'm here at this point, yeah. The whole mm. world's one big ambush, baby. Yep. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So there's a noise trap there. There's some cans on a tripwire that I... Oh, oh really? Cans mm -hmm. on a tripwire? That's interesting. Yeah. There you Boy, go. Good looking jump there. Mm -hmm. It's not too late to go get your motorcycle. Oh, I think at this point... <laughs> it's it coming up in a second. The the guy I was, was giving the demo said, Here, let me take over and give him the controller. And that's what he does immediately. <laughs> this is like, a convenient story. Don't blame it on the game director, Jeff Ross. There's no way that I It was had. absolutely Jeff Ross did that. And then he handed it back right after that. No <laughs> joke. I was like, well, thanks a lot. That it, was super helpful. In a cold sweat? Yeah, I was very angry. You take it. You take it. Yeah, as so you can see the red on the map there. kind of So that would prevent me from fast traveling through that through area the, until yeah. you clear it out. Which ah, is pretty cool. Gotcha. So here's a lot of supplies, as you can see. This is Apparently their secret stash. Thank you very much. Wood looks cool. No reason to take logs though. Yeah, you want to keep your wood wet for or dry rather for the for fire purposes and whatnot. You got it, dude. But I like this Reach. little touch. There's a trap just right on the other side of that train car. So if you just blasted through there and got cocky, yeah, you'd set that off instantly. So. <laughs> How often did you guys see the factions interacting, humans and zombies? I'm hey, infected. Stay Freakers. tuned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So uh, it, it is definitely a thing. That is definitely a strategy yeah. is like even firing into the air around a camp, which will attract the freakers to take yeah. out the, the humans, which is always a good time. Mm -hmm. That seems like it'd be fun is to go around and disarm every single one of their traps and then just lure Ooh. freakers there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're into torturing people, so yeah. there you go. Yeah, big time. Good stuff. Hey, how about uh, Reservoir Dogs? That the Michael Come Madsen on character probably has a one post-apocalypse dollar, huh? <laughs> He's saving it in his back pocket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forget if he died. <laughs> Who could say? <laughs> Some nice tagging. The old staple. To my side. On your side. You Move it. Does that tag seem to last forever? Or do you yes. upgrade that? Okay. Also, the, the slow-mo thing. That's, a, that's an upgrade you get. Helpful. Very. So I wonder if you're related to Michael from GTA. Mm. Why did I move to Oregon? I guess it was the weather. <laughs> I like occasional rain. Wow. Ow. <laughs> that was Jeff Quirk. That wasn't Deacon St. John saying that, just in case people are worried about the yeah. dialogue in this game. It, this voice took out a real terrible quality all of a sudden. <laughs> was not available for retakes. <laughs> now, I'm being very dumb here, but okay. I was going to say, I really should be into that. Focus vision or survival vision more often just because this place is so trapped. Quirk, overall, leaving yeah. this trip, did you feel like, yeah, Days Gone is about what I expected it was from what we had seen so far? Uh, no, I, I maybe, I guess, it's difficult to say. I, I went into the trip, I was, I've was seen the E3 stuff, I was kind of like, I wouldn't say ambivalent about it, but I wasn't like super stoked. Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess I, 
I could play this, but yeah, I really had a good time playing it. Yeah, especially uh, so many people are going to be comparing it to State of Decay 2, which is coming out surprisingly soon. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like there's slightly different camps for people? I think it does kind of hit a lot of the same notes, though, for me at least. I kind of enjoy the more methodical scouting stuff out. Yeah. But you also enjoy Dead Rising, so who the ho who the hell knows? All over like? the stupid map. <laughs> <laughs> this was all a ploy, though, to attract that freaker. Oh, Ooh, I hear him. Oh, there was a freaker standing up there. Yeah, I saw it clearly. Oh, leave it alone. What do you say now, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna make it hurt by <laughs> <laughs> taking so many shots. You're grazing him till he dies. Exactly. Make him think about it. Or am I? I'm a fan of taking out the last guy with a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drop well vanished. Well done, sir. Yeah, I guess humans Stand tend to win those encounters, huh? One human versus one freaker. More often than not, makes sense. These people have survived a while. Yeah, I love seeing everybody camping out, all the different sleeping bags all around. It's always yeah. fun to see. Yeah. It definitely is a unique looking world. Oregon? Nice and green. Yeah. Oh, it's it's just the wilderness Squad focus of it. Mm -hmm. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Just rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? All right, I assume he got it. He got it. I, he should have said Deacon over. It's true. We forgot about the He was man. waiting. The cruiser's cool. waiting. Deke, you there? Boozer, why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. You, you remember what I said back in the tunnel? Go up there, Deke. It's, it's making you crazy. Then what are the tulips for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same ones she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, Boozer, get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. And then the tulips, Boozer, there's stone crop. Get it right. No flower expert. Deacon out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Botany. You ever heard of it? Deacon, Deacon out. out. <laughs> <laughs> See? It doesn't uh, matter. Just, yeah. yeah. St. John, you, you out there? Drifter. We got work for you. You still owe me some runs. Did they call you Drifter? Go, but yeah. Yep. Uh, I hear you. If I'm up. Just you and the open road. Yep. The old open train tracks. Right in the rails. Toot toot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, clear the infestation. This is a uh, bunch of these nests. This is it. Oh, God damn it. This camp is going to be crawling. Uh, yeah. Nah, nah, you gotta leave the bike out here. Pull all of them down on you. Ravens. Goddamn birds. Where there's ravens, well, there's nests. Oh, where else? Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah? Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Freaker smell, which is an important detail. Smell like poo poo and doo doo. This place is a death trap. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. This is their home. Yeah. I kind of wish I had a Frank West style stick my arms out and swing around for a while. <laughs> yeah. Put the machete out. But... The greatest move. There's like an equivalent of that in Yakuza 6. Yeah. Where you just grab somebody and spin them around. Getting an old knife workout going on here, Cork. Yeah. So that one doesn't break, which is nice. You just keep. Mm. Killer. That went really well. I Deacon see. style. <laughs> this place is a death trap. Okay. How do you uh, equip a trap or aim and throw it? That's what I want to know. Uh, I don't really <laughs> remember. I wish there was something telling us. It's mm. a secret. Yeah, secret to most everybody. Cool looking nest. Fire in the so water. here's where I, I should have run away, but instead I'm just admiring my handiwork, uh, which is a bad plan. <laughs> <it turns out. laughs> 
Yeah, they all kick him up the stairs move, which also not Come on. great. <laughs> kick him with it down, kick him up the stairs. There we go. You got it, man. Gotta go. Oh, their screeches just never end. That was, I mean, they probably had little babies in that nest, like birds. They had everything going on in there, of course. Yeah. Oh, I really ruined their day. days. <laughs> well, there's only one way for them to go. <laughs> so, I'm just going to run away forever. Okay. And again, I can't oh. overestimate, overstate rather, like, running away is just the best thing in this game. You don't want to stand your ground as often as you may impulsively want to. Like, the yeah. smart thing is just to keep moving, for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Hanson, for joining us. Thanks, Rocky Bob. Yeah. Videos. Thanks, Vader, for joining us. Yeah. And viewers, thank you for watching this video. There we are. Go out well, on top. This is this is a good strategy overall. <laughs> to learn even more, see even more about Days Gone, uh, go to the URL on the screen, gameformer.com slash Days Gone. Uh, coming up next week, we're going to have a ton of Horde footage. So a lot more to come. Stay tuned, everybody.